Thank you so much for watching the Bunkies YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're going to talk about how to lock up your RV batteries on the cheap. This project was under $20. It might be a little bit over if you don't have tin snips or something to cut the metal, but if you do, it might actually be cheaper than that. So long story short, two friends of mine um, bought RVs, and I bought one this summer as well, and they had their battery stolen in their driveway and a second friend rented his RV out and had the battery stolen. Um, the renter who had it out there, someone went and stole the batteries in the middle of the night while they were sleeping in the thing. So I decided instead of batter buying a battery box, I would secure the batteries to the trailer using metal and some locks. And in this YouTube video, I will show you how. If this is helpful for any reason, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and additionally hit that subscribe button and the bell. All right, now let's get into it. All right, for this project, you really only need four things, maybe five if you want to count the uh, 20 minutes of time. So we need some of the zinc-plated flat bar from Home Depot. It's fairly inexpensive, comes in about four feet worth of lengths. It's easy to bend. You don't need any special tools. You need some tin snips. They really help. I tried cutting this with, you know, wire cutters or something like that, but it really didn't work. So these tin snips went right through it like butter. It was no problem at all. Harbor Freight has them cheaper if you have that by you. You need a lock. I got a matching pair, and I actually don't recommend the padlocks with the dial. A keyed one is a lot better because you're underneath the trailer, and it's a lot faster. So I just got a matched pair at Home Depot, or you might have some laying around, and some measuring tape. So let's head over. How we're going to start is we're simply just going to measure four angles on the box. And I just loosely did this because I could bend the metal accordingly. So for mine, we're sitting at, let's see, let's see, one handed here. You can see right there, about eight and a half down to the trailer. Right at maybe 11, and then we're done. So what I did is after taking the four measurements, you have to take into mind that this end meets this end down here. Um, so that last measurement was eight and a half for me. So I'm gonna do four and a quarter and put a bend right here. And you can mark it with a Sharpie. And then I'm gonna do nine, Nine. Oh, I think it was eight and a half. Eight and a half, and then that four and a quarter again. So this is the finished result. Bending it and holding the camera is impossible. I changed it just a little by actually marking it with a Sharpie right here. And I just put it on the back bed of my truck and bent this over. So I kind of get this oddly shaped piece. Now these two down here come together and they square this up and that's where I put the lock in. I will say it's a little bit sharp with these tin snips. If you have a grinder, um, you could smooth it out. Additionally, I've heard of people plastic dipping the sides and even plastic dipping the whole thing because it is zinc plated and you get that kind of weird oil on the end of it. So the last step is to attach it. I take my new metal here. And I just kind of bend it around. Again, it's a little harder with one hand. Oh, gonna hit my wire. And there it is. Pinch it together at the bottom, put my lock on it, and we now have a secure battery, just like the one here. Super easy to take off for maintenance, to check the batteries, or to do anything else. And now I don't have to worry about getting a battery box or anyone lifting these uh, to pawn off later. So here's a picture of the RV battery boxes that most people have, along with the locking metal pieces. So you can see right here, it comes right over the top, um, fits into this groove here. Might be a little hard to tell, but it is lower where my finger is. You can see it on the other one as well. And then underneath, I just have regular master locks. You can see right here, just a regular lock there that pulls 
this metal together and actually makes for a very cheap, quick and easy locking setup for your RV.